Welcome back from break. We have a great opportunity coming up in front of us here. It's a competition called We the People. The competition takes place in January and only one of the classes is going to get to go. So we're going to do a preliminary competition in the next couple of weeks where we'll decide which of the two government classes gets to take the trip to Jefferson City. I want to explain how the competition is going to go. If you have any questions or you need extra resources, I've got a lot of stuff going up on Moodle. So check that out. I, I've got a video for each of the three questions, which I'll explain here in just a moment. This is how the competition goes. There are there There's a competition between the classes. So in the last debate that we had, you competed with each other. In this one, you as a class are competing with the other government class as a class. So you're working together. Now, as a class, we'll be separated into three groups, but that doesn't, again, mean that you're competing with each other. You're actually working together. So if you kind of move back and forth with each other and help each other out, that's great. You don't need to feel like you're competing with anybody else in your classroom. You're all on the same team trying to get the best score as possible. If your class gets the highest score, then your class gets to go to Jefferson City on January 26th and compete in the state competition, which will be really, really cool. And really great, it's also free of charge from the Missouri Bar Association, who's sponsoring everything for us. The bus, the hotel, the food, all of it's going to be covered. It's going to be really great. Here are the basics of the competition. Again, there are three questions that as a class we're going to need to prepare for. Each question gets its own individual hearing. In that individual hearing, you will get four minutes to prepare a statement to be made for the judges. That four-minute statement needs to answer all of the components of the question, and each question has two or three separate components that need to be answered. So we'll spend about four or five days researching those components together, and then we'll start to write those components to prepare your four-minute remarks. When you're done with your four-minute remarks, the judges then get six minutes to ask you questions and you have to answer those questions just from your memory. So you're judged based on both of those aspects. The first aspect being giving the prepared remarks to the judges. The second aspect being the judges asking you questions and seeing how well you're able to answer those questions. We'll do a lot of preliminary work on this. The competition at center here is going to be on Friday, December 13th. We're going to do a practice round on Tuesday, December 10th, so you need to make sure to have all of your materials ready to go by then. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, we can just refine the materials, practice some questions, and make sure that you're ready to go in front of the judges. That'll get us right up to finals week, where we'll study for our semester final, and then it's Christmas break. So this is the project that's going to lead us through December. I think it's going to be a really cool opportunity for you to put some of the things we've learned this semester to really good use and to try to do a project that might make you feel like you're a lawyer for a couple of weeks. So hopefully you really enjoy it. Again, lots of resources are available for you on Moodle. Uh, I've posted a video for each of the three questions, so regardless of whatever group you're in, you've got a video that walks you through a little bit of the background information on each of the questions and should be good to help you get started on your research. Again, if you have any questions, ask me, email me, send me a message on Moodle, and hopefully this will be a really great competition. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys can come up with. Again, welcome back. Let's get to work.